Humanitarian aid from China has been distributed to Ukrainians worth about 5 million yuan. The supplies included blankets, cutlery, damp-proof mats and other daily necessities. Ukraine's Red Cross Society was in charge of the distribution in the city of Chernivtsi. It said the supplies first go to displaced people most in need. A second batch from China is expected to arrive in Ukraine later today. CGTN's Wulei spoke one-on-one -on -one with the di Deputy Director General of the Ukrainian Red Cross. How many countries and regions have delivered humanitarian aid to the Ukrainian Red Cross Society so far? Uh, since we work here and maybe uh, the other gener the previous generations of the Red Cross have never seen such a tremendous support that we now receive from uh, from all over the world. Local business in Ukraine supports us with their donations and with goods. Uh, big uh, international business from abroad support us. Support us. And also uh, the uh, Red Cross, Red Cross, and the Red Crescent family, the international movement supports us, uh, sending to Ukraine the humanitarian aid. Uh, so the latest figure is uh, 40, uh, 400 tons of humanitarian aid we received from other Red Crosses and Red Crescents uh, from other parts of the world. In particular, uh, the help is coming from uh, Italy, Romania. Britain, uh, Austria, German Red Cross, Turkish Red Crescent, uh, China uh, uh, Red Cross, and uh, many other national societies. So we enjoy uh, a very tremendous support. The only problem is that we need to have more access to people who need this support. How has the escalating conflict affected your organization's work? And what is your major concern by now? We have never worked in such conditions with such a big, such a major armed conflict with such a big humanitarian crisis. We have 500 people of staff in Ukrainian Red Cross working 24 hours a day. We have uh, uh, 6,000 volunteers. Uh, uh, it's difficult to hold this regime because uh, like to like to work in such a regime because uh, on the one hand you have to work uh, to help to assist the people and the vulnerable population. On the other hand, you have to keep safe because we have to work in dangerous conditions, under bombing, under shelling. Uh, and, but the biggest challenge remains the access to vulnerable population, which we cannot get at the moment everywhere.